So I'm flicking through Reddit and checking out my Discord server and Facebook groups as I do. But all I've read since patch 1.10.3 is, well, you can't solo the Dark Zone anymore. Nomads too powerful. Or generally the patch is toxic because people can't abuse support station healing anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever camp you're in, it's certainly something that's upset the core part of the community one way or another. But personally, I like the patch. But I do get why certain people have their reservations. But either way, let's face it, it was a big change. And one thing is for certain though, the Dark Zone isn't and has never been balanced whatsoever. And in all honesty, that's just the way the game was built and I personally gave up a while back myself. I think it was back a uh, patch 1.3. I think that just landed and due to the inability to progress in the game as a solo player, I took a step back and enjoyed other games for a while. My friends had given up on the game for reasons I'm sure you're all aware of, so playing the game alone just felt a bit stagnant. I wasn't getting anywhere, so yeah, I went and played other titles. And people to this day simply just can't progress in the DZ as a solo agent. It's always been a problem since day one and it's never been addressed properly. And yes, I understand people will say the PvE side of things gives the uh, solo players the ability to hunt items and hunt gears. But back in the day, DLC like Survival Last Standard on the Ground wasn't a thing. Plus, they're all tedious, and there's nothing like the extraction and looting concept behind the DZ. And personally, I do think the answer is staring the devs right in the face. And here's how I think Massive and the community can benefit as a whole. There shouldn't be an OP gear set in the game at all, period. And I'm just going to use Nomad as an example. No gear set should have benefits for being solo in a dark zone, and it certainly shouldn't be debuffed when in a squad. It just doesn't make sense to me at all, and it just, the balance of the game, it, well, it's non-existent. So the question is, what can we do to help that? But more importantly, what could we implement where the game structure itself isn't affected, but will counteract everyone's beef about what should and shouldn't be in the game? And the answer is simple as you've just got to give players a choice. Introduce Dark Zone lobbies in the form of solos, duos and squads. I just think it'd be a great concept that Massive could put together. And let's face it, if you're still playing The Division now, there's nobody in the world that could make you change your mind about this masterpiece of a game. We love it and that's a fact. But hundreds of thousands of people who left the game hate it because of, well, reasons why I quit back in 1.3. In fact, even the stun lock problem the introduction of toughness when you burn to death in half a second didn't put me off the game. It was just the inability to progress as a solo player. But I'm quite lucky that some of my actual friends jump back on the game after a couple of patches, but others just don't simply have that luxury. So for me, dedicated Dark Zone lobbies solves all the problems. It'd be easy to implement and it wouldn't change the structure of our game in the slightest. I know some people love going solo against squads, so if they wanted to do that, they still could. But then there's people like me back in 1.3 that can join solo lobbies and also matchmake for squads, which in return will give division agents an opportunity to meet other agents potentially making new friends and not ending up like little old me back in 1.3 wandering around the dark zone like a lost puppy and I bet you there's tens of thousands of agents who haven't got anyone on their friends list to play the division and because of that they simply don't play the game at all that much anymore and don't get me wrong I understand there's matchmaking in the division 1 currently but I've covered my problems with the matchmaking um, in the division 1 in other videos so I don't need to obviously go too much into detail over that but they aren't dedicated and they certainly aren't user friendly and we've already got one of the best communities out there, so bringing a matchmaking system with a bit more purpose would bring the agents even more closer together. And let's not deny the fact that the DZ itself would be that little bit more ruthless and cutthroat. People would be more inclined to go rogue knowing they're not going to get ganked by a squad if they're in a solo lobby. And vice versa, you know, solos don't get checkpoint camped by four virgins thinking they're the new Marco styles. So for me it's a win-win situation, it wouldn't be hard to implement and it would stop a lot of people complaining about certain aspects of the game because as I covered before, Nomad for instance is more beneficial to a solo player and then it gets debuffed when you're in a team. That for me is just not a balanced side of the division that we should expect from such a massive title now, you know? So maybe a case of moving with the times and give us something where we're all going to be happy really. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below your thoughts on dedicated Dark Zone lobbies. 
What's your pros and cons? Are they a good idea? Are they a bad idea? And also, if you like me, post 1.3 and find yourself pissing in the wind, consider joining my Division Facebook group and my Discord server, where you'll find other Div agents to link up with, and links for that will be in the description below. And if you did enjoy today's Division 2 topic, consider giving a small YouTuber a chance and smack that like button. Also, hit thrust that like button to let me know you're enjoying the Division 2 content, and until next time, Agent out.